All right, good. today, guys, I'm gonna go through real quick how to use our new time card. Uh, effective immediately, Excel EV, or excel.azurewebsites.net is no longer gonna be used or active. Um, the servers are gonna go down, and um, uh, for other reasons, we're gonna be moving on and trying something new. Um, hopefully, that we find this a little bit more simpler, maybe a little easier to use. Um, so first thing, you've had a few emails about it, but I want to make sure you know how to get the uh, Adobe Acrobat um, software on your iPad, even worse on an iPhone. Make sure when you search, you type in that Adobe Acrobat right there. So you get the correct one. It's going to be this one right here. It's a full on actual Adobe Acrobat reader. Once you open or download that, you're going to have to set up a free account. It's pretty self-explanatory, but you need to get it all set up and ready to go and open the home screen before you start moving. Otherwise, things will just keep asking a question. So you get it all up and working, then you're ready to go. Um, I did load everything to the student pilot and to the rental pilot links. Very easy to get to. Once again, if you need the web address, you can see it there, xl, x dash c e l l aviation.com forward slash student pilot dot html. There's also the rental pilot dot html, r e n t a l pilot dot html. Now, one thing I want to show you is how to make this a link on your home screen, just like an icon or any other app. You just push up. Okay, the share symbol, and down here you'll see it says add to home screen. When you do that, it's gonna show you, it'll name it as student pilot links, hey add, and it shows up right on your icons, right there, student pilot links. Um, if you do rental pilot, it kinda looks like that, and then when you click on it, it'll just go right to the page. So right at the top of either one, rental pilot or student pilot, you're gonna see time card. So this is where the new time card is. You will need the internet to load the time card from this site, but once it's loaded, by hitting that, it opens up to here. Now don't edit it from here, this is just a view. We wanna put in Acrobat, so you share it, Acrobat, and then we'll hit import, and it's gonna open up. And it's gonna be there, now it's offline, you're good to go. You don't need the internet from this point, it'll save and it'll just be on there. It's actually in your recents. Adobe saves everything. These are some of my old ones, but everything's saved on it. So once you have it, and if you open it and you change anything, boom, it's saved again. This is really good. Once you complete one and you bring another one in, the completed one's still there and, and it'll you can keep having more and more so you have a history of all yours. You can rename them. Or if you don't have the internet and you've already loaded one, you can open it up from there you know, you can go back, oh man, I don't have one. You can open one up and just edit it back for the new day. All right, it's very simple to do. Obviously date, you just click on it, should fill in the date for you. Renter's name, you know, if you wanna just, I'm just gonna put me in here. Uh, tail number, it's got them all in here. You just pick the plane you're flying, whichever one it may be, okay? Now make sure your rental type's correct. We've had some issues in the past. Dual is with instructor on board. Solo, not a licensed pilot yet, but out by yourself. Rental is everyone that has no instructor on board and is a licensed pilot. And ground school only will be for your instructors when they're doing just ground school. So if I'm doing a dual flight, CFI, make sure to pick who your flight instructor is if they were with you, so we know for billing. Um, if you're solo, you do not need to pick your flight instructor because they were not in the aircraft with you. Okay, it's almost a Brant went flying with me today. All right, TSA fuel ordered. If you ordered fuel, we've changed this now. If you got tabs, you could actually just go, I went to tabs, okay? Um, but if you ordered six and six, well, I ordered 12 gallons. Now, departure fuel level. Tell me the exact gallons you had left and right wing, please. Reimbursed fuel, that's if you purchase fuel outside of uh, Tricidero or Evansville that you paid out of your own pocket, we need to reimburse you. How many gallons? The price you paid for those gallons. And then uh, we also need a copy of the receipt, either text it to me, email it to our main account, anything like that will work. Fuel notes, just in case you had any notes, we left a blank. Hobbs, very simple. Let's just say the Hobbs was 6.7 when you went out and 7.3 when you come back you'll notice it 
Once you click off from that, it's going to calculate the 0.6, does the math for you. Billing notes, add-ons, um, if you bought anything, shirts or anything like that. Rental headsets, we want to make sure we're being honored with those. We have those extra headsets. Each plane only has one. If you do take uh, one or two off the shelf, we ask that you mark it. They're 10 bucks uh, each time uh, per headset. And then how many you just put in there. If you didn't take it, don't mark it. CFI notes. Those are going to be for your CFI. So if you are flying with an instructor, you do not email this until you've completed and handed it over to them to complete their billing cycle. It's a little bit different from what we had where you just saved it and they went in later. These, they need to do that right at the end. So you complete it and you're like, okay, here, Brent, put in your time. Once his time's in, the billing is for us at our end. Once it's all done, it's time to email it to us. Okay, it's very easy to do. You're just gonna hit the share symbol again. Do not do invite by email because this stuff uses Adobe's cloud. I can't actually read it. What you're gonna do is you're gonna come down here. It says share a copy. That's gonna open your actual email address. Email, see I can email it. Now we have a new email address for our time cards to very simple, time card, Excel Aviation, X-C-E-L-L -L Aviation, at gmail.com. And send. Oh, enter. And send. Done. It's gone and saved. Now it's still on your iPad, but I've got it. See, it's yours. That's your time card for your copy, and it emailed out our copy. Make sure, obviously, you're in the office with internet before sending it. Please make sure those go through to us um, and that they got sent out. Um, and that's how you send the, and do the time card. Now you see it's still there. I can open it up. Let's say you fly another day. You should be able to go through and say, well, I flew a different day. And your name's already in there, and you could just edit this. I'm not a big fan of that. Um, I would just keep it so that you're saved, and then you just go back and go, okay, new day. I need a clean card. That's why I call pulling a clean one out, meaning an empty one, ready to go. There it is, ready, and what you'll notice is it named it time card two, or one, really. Neat features in here, you can click on this and you can say, okay, I want to rename it. So you can rename them so they don't just keep going one, two, three, or four. You can delete them right there, delete. You can also email them from here. If you're like, oh man, I forgot to email it. You can open it, email it from there, or you can just hit the three little dots and hit share here. And same thing, share a copy. Last thing, what I would do for the time card so you don't forget the email address i would just create a contact i have no clue where my contacts i want to go to contacts just create a contact here okay just add a new one do last name do card first name time for time card and then just add an email so again the email is time card Oops, if I could spell X C E L L Aviation at gmail.com and hit done. Now, when you go do, you just enter time card. Another one I would do is for the lesson law or the flight logs, all your cross countries, your um weather briefings, all of those go to a different email account. Um, so let's say uh, you want to do weather briefing and flight logs. You can just do like, let's say I want flight log. I do last name log, first name flight. And I can add the email and just go, okay, that one was Excel, -E, um, Excel EVV at gmail.com same thing for your uh weather briefings okay you know what on our company i'll do briefing i'll do weather briefing 
And I'll show you why we do this. Because if you can't remember the email address, you just go, okay, I need to share a copy of this via email. And, oh, that's a time card. I just start typing in time card. Oh, look, it pulls right up. Okay. Or if I want a briefing, see, flight log. I got mine's putting in in last name first, first, first name second. Depends on how you got it set up, but it's an easy way to save those to your contacts. So you, if you can't remember the email address, you can just find them real quick. Okay, so that's your time cards. Let's make sure we're using that. Um, we will be adding the pave to this, just like the other one, you enter a pave. So I haven't had time with this fast switch. Um, things got ahead of me. I've been busy with aircraft and maintenance and trying to get these other airplanes up in the air and I just didn't have time to get that. But we'll work on that. You'll see things being added to it. But for now, quick and painless. All right, thank you guys.